Hey everyone, I'm Mary, and I'm just gonna cut to the chase. What the fair use, YouTube? I mean, just... If you haven't heard about it already, spoilers, YouTube decided that anything to do with anime and abridged is now a fair game for being copyright stricken. You find this out because Dragon Ball Z Abridge, in its entirety, has been deleted from YouTube. That's right, Team Four Stars, probably one of the funniest abridged, and honestly, sometimes funnier than the original shorts on YouTube, Dragon Ball Z fucking abridged, are now completely removed. That's right, the entire channel has now just had all those videos removed. <sighs> what the fuck, YouTube? I don't even... I'm a little pissed, just, just, just a little bit. And it does call into question what exactly YouTube is doing, because by the fair use rules in their contracts, they aren't making money on the abridged. Those are not monetized. If you see ads, it's YouTube putting them in there because they want to make money which by their own rules, they shouldn't. Now, Team Four Star as a channel does make profit on quotes they have on shirts and sales and appearances, not the abridged. It's secondary because people find some of the lines they made up, which are their content and their property they own. So when you hear a line like, bitches love cannons, which is from Helsing abridged, not taken down yet, but give it a few minutes, it probably will be. That's something they can make money on because it's not part of the property of Helsing, which they use for the abridged. YouTube ignored all that and said, hmm, these guys are well known as a company. So even though technically they're in compliance, copyright strike. Now, this is not the first time this has happened because let's be honest, YouTube's had fucked up reasoning when it comes to what is legal before. Right now they're going on the thing of, hmm, if we fuck over the little guy, they'll make videos and complain and maybe leave the channel, but then they'll come back because we're YouTube. On the other hand, if we fuck over the big guy who have the copyright, eventually one of them will sue us and they have more money to sue us with. It's actually not a bad calculus if you don't give a damn about your own consumer base. You know, us. What's even worse is because of when this is happening. Right now, YouTube's in a lot of shit over, you know, they've put Jewish ads on Nazi propaganda videos. Yeah, there's a lot of that on YouTube. There was a, okay, let me go back. There was basically, I think, a Nazi video. Fuck those guys to start with. No, actually, don't fuck them. Don't fuck Nazis. Make sure they're blue balled for the rest of their life. Fuck not fucking. You you get what I mean. Basically, it was, I think, a Jewish bakery was putting up ads. I could be completely wrong if it's a bakery. It might have been a deli. And they were coming up on Nazi websites. You know, Nazi videos. That's fucked up. Because of this, right now, YouTube has lost quite a few bits of ad revenue because companies are pulling out. They don't want their ads anywhere near things like, oh, I don't know, Nazi propaganda videos. How those get past YouTube's very rigorous screening process, but you know, they need to take down Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Z abridged. Fuck it. I was really hoping we wouldn't have to do this, but come on guys, we need to start off the hashtag, what the fair use again. That would be hashtag WTFU. Fuck you, YouTube. I mean, if this is an automated process, fix it. If it's someone actually being a dick, fire them. Or better yet, send them to the White House. They like incompetence. All the same, everyone. <sighs> what the fuck, YouTube? Seriously, just what the fuck?